So if you're ever gonna be painting the railings in your stairwell and you have to deal with these metal pickets, there's only one way to paint around these things and that is to tape them off. It's a tedious, thankless job, but I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips that are gonna make it a heck of a lot quicker. We're gonna start off here with the flat section, then we'll move down to the sloping pickets where things get really interesting. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna be a disaster. Starting up here on the level, very simple. Take a piece of tape, try to rip it off somewhat square. It works better that way. Get enough tape that you can go at least once around. Start off on one edge of the tape. You don't wanna start off in the middle, otherwise you're gonna end up with an awkward seam. Start off one edge, get that wrapping around, come around all the way, right in line with the bottom of the woodwork. Now this is the key, the secret that is gonna save you so much time. Instead of just taping it all the way around, make a little flap right on the top edge here. Just tape the tape onto itself, not all the way along because then it's gonna get a little squirrely at the bottom, but on the top half, push the tape on the bottom there. What that does is when it comes to removing the tape, which is pretty much the hardest part here, it gets really old if you're trying to scratch every single tape off I and mean, you've got like 50 of them. You take that little flap, just grab it, the tape comes off so much easier. That'll save you a ton of time. Let's move down over to the sloping section. And then when it comes to the tape, inch and a half painter's tape is gonna be the sweet spot. If you go any bigger, it gets a little tricky, especially on the sloping parts. Any smaller, now you're running the risk of hitting this railing with your paintbrush. When it comes to the angles, you have to do a two-part system here. You need a short piece to start with. It doesn't have to be terribly short, but start on the high side here. You have to start on the high side, line up that bottom edge, wrap this around. If you get good at this, you can just throw a quick little fold in the top edge there for easy removal. Take another piece, similar length, but like this. Now this is key here, come to the opposite side and start there. Otherwise you're gonna be working around. It's gonna to be too hard to see what you're doing. Line up this far slope, get that nice and pressed on there. You can wrap the back side of the tape around. And then instead of wrapping it around and sticking it on this face here, just work your bottom edge. Get your bottom edge going where it needs to be. Press it on firmly. Don't, don't press the tape in just yet. Take the far edge, get that where it needs to be. And then just take this little bunched up piece here in the front and just kind of glue that together there. And then when you're coming around the back side here, you can also just put a little quick fold in the tape Get that stuck on there. And then when it comes for removal, you've got your quick folds. You can grab them, peel that off. This one here had the quick fold, you grab that, you peel it off. And hey, if you're doing some painting, you're probably gonna be painting your doors. I got a good video for that. Check that out right over here. Now I just have about 75 more of these to tape off and I can actually start painting some point today.